Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Thursday, September 19th, 2024. In this video, we're going to look at the recent arrest and situation, legal situation that involves rapper, American rapper P. Diddy. I'm going to take you to a compilation I've got. We'll look at a few items of information that uh, if they interest you and you'd like to look at them in closer detail, click on the Facebook link that will be in the video description box. If not, just follow along as I kind of show you what I looked at and why I am addressing this. I've had numerous requests to do so, by the way. And up until today, I said, you know, it's just too much like the Epstein situation, which ended up being a nothing burger as far as uh, convictions and um, legal consequences for those involved, you know, the clients, the true criminals in that enterprise. So I just thought this is just another Epstein, but maybe it's not. And that's why I want to ask the universe and I'll show you why. Okay, I'm taking you that compilation. Hang on, let's go to that share screen. Here is the artist rendering of P. Diddy in court with his attorney, who at one time was also an attorney for Michael Jackson. I thought that was kind of interesting. So an entertainment lawyer of some renown. Uh, Mr. Diddy has quite a few resources at his disposal at the moment, apparently, for um, his legal issues. Now, the first thing I wanted to share with you is this is a 59-second uh, clip from Canadian rapper uh, Tom McDonald urging other rappers to stay independent, saying, I don't know why anybody's surprised and shocked by what has happened, you know, with the arrest of this man, um, and just kind of lays it out a little bit, but I liked his advice to stay independent and his being very awake to what happened if you do have someone who um, helps you up the ladder of success, what the cost is. He seems to be very aware of it. I thought, good, great, yay, I'm glad. Then, uh, just for your information, do you see back in 2020, a book was released, the author is Sean Diddy Combs, talking about the Adrenochrome Witch, and I probably shouldn't have said that word, but it is the title. Okay, this is a true story about the elite secret society and their bizarre eternal youth rituals, not for the faint of heart. Just thought I would throw that out there. So uh, he, he was very open about the circles he traveled in and uh, some of the... Uh, the things that were done for power, okay? I've also included a tweet by um, Thomas Paine Band, okay? The diddler is going down. Will the FBI protect his customers like they did with Epstein's? Good question. In fact, originally I thought that would be my question because a lot of times as I'm looking for items, when I see a question posed in the format of the article or item, it actually ends up being a very good thing for a um, tarot read. However, this has nothing directly to do with P. Diddy. But the last thing I'd like to share with you is Hilarion on um, the platform known as X. She is a light worker and she has said that the media no longer holds magic. The spell has broken last night and she did this on the 18th. So she's talking about the evening of the 17th. All these media personality timelines collapsed. Going short, great short on one of the biggest bricks in the wall. So uh, anyway, this, again, she had nothing in this about P. Diddy directly, but she is reporting that because of some of the light work she engages in um, on the, um, I guess I'd say the astral realm, that uh, the spell's been broken and the media no longer holds their magic. So, if there's even a shred of truth to that, it makes it entirely possible that we may have a different outcome for the P. Diddy prosecution and his customers and victims. There, there's both, unfortunately. And uh, I thought we'd uh, it might be worth a tarot read as a result because there may be some insights or information. So <clears throat> because of that reporting that there has been a, uh, an energetic collapse for the entertainment industry very recently they I thought let's let's read about it and see so we're going to be asking just for information and insights about um, the P. Diddy prosecution 
or legal, let's say legal problems, because he's also being sued uh, by numerous of uh, people in his uh, who have been at one point in time in his circle. So uh, the, the legal issues around PD, let's have the universe give us some insights and information, um, especially if there's a potential um, different outcome than we, the nothing burger we saw with the Epstein client list and uh, situation. Now, I'm not going to ask, is he safe in jail? We have to keep our tarot read to one, or each tarot question to one specific question. It's okay to ask for additional insights and information at the discretion of the universe, but I'm not going to pile all that on there. Okay? Um, I'm not going to worry about it. I think he's probably got the resources and connections to stay safe in jail, <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll just take it from there. But I want to see if this is going to cascade into other legal issues for other people. So that's where I want to go with this uh, question. Let's see what the universe wants us to know about the legal issues and situation involving P. Diddy, especially uh, if there'll be other entertainers directly and publicly impacted by this. I'm going to switch the camera and watch me open the cards and we'll find the answer to this together. So we'd like insights and information about what's going on with the legal issues being faced by American rapper P. Diddy, especially as it might impact um, other prosecutions or legal issues for those who were in his circle. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, the situation is being indicated by the Page of Wands, clarified by the Hermit. We've got the uh, near past card is the Sun, current is the Seven of Cups. Looking ahead, we've got the Devil. Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. So we're going to get a read on this and I'm going to get additional cards to uh, look ahead a little farther, even a little farther than this. So let me move these up so they're all, at least the majority of the cards are in view for you. Okay, I was kind of saying their placement as we went because, hey, once a teacher, always a teacher. So the situation is being indicated by, or in our question, by the page of wands. Now, normally this is a white hat card, but this isn't really a political question, not directly, other than the fact that some of his clientele, handlers, um, backers, etc., maybe have, you know, government ties. But it's interesting because the page of wands is often a card that shows up when there is a discovery and a reason for some cautious optimism, okay? So we were asking, is it going to have an impact on other entertainers, on other um, people who engaged in acts that harmed others or violated free will? And yeah, the uh, hermit is saying we're shining the light on this. The whole subject is going to get a lot of exposure and um, there's going to be a lot of discoveries coming out. The sun card in the recent past says things are falling into place. And I don't think it's for the welfare and well-being of Mr. Diddy, but that this, this, these charges against him have been well-documented, well set out. And uh, so things are falling into place. The uh, Sun card, again, we've got two, three, major arcanas out of seven cards. So it is an important question. It does say what's happening to this gentleman it is going to be impactful beyond his own person. So I thought that was really interesting. Now, a lot of times the uh, seven of cups can kind of indicate smoke and mirrors when things are kind of being thrown up to uh, distract you or there's a lot of choices in play. I don't think that Mr. Diddy's got, going to have a lot of choices about what happens going forward. So it's just, we need to understand that first of all, what we're getting advised by the universe is that this entire timing for this this uh, arrest and prosecution to happen now has a big distraction element to it. So as always, 
when you see what's in the headlines, think about what they were trying to push out of the headlines. Whether it's harm to someone that's beloved, that's been attempted again, or if there's something going on, a lot of times I'm noticing when there's some financial ish things going on in the uh, uh, world, we get these distractions out there. So we know there's change on the way. And we know they would like us to remain distracted by it because the more excited and positive we get and kind of putting our focus and energy, remember energy flows where attention goes onto some of those good changes, the faster they come about. So they're trying to keep us focused. And what is more titillating than hearing about all of the uh, sordid actions and parties and what have you uh, that this gentleman hosted? And uh, um, don't get distracted, folks. Don't get sucked into the sordid details, okay? That's a Laura's view thing here. It's not the cards are saying that. Okay, now let's look at the near future. <laughs> the devil's cards coming up. I think what this is telling us is a couple of things. And this, uh, I don't mean to be controversial here in any way. I think it's it's just a nod to that Mr. Diddy is still going to continue to um, keep his ties that are negative, active. He's not going to have regrets. Um, and uh, he has made, he has become a master of leading others into temptation, and that's not going to change. He is essentially going to be who he's going to be. Um, so, and this card kind of indicates looking forward what's going to be going on with him. The Queen of Pentacles is our strongest advice card. And again, we were kind of also asking about will this spread out to others in the entertainment industry. And I'm not seeing a huge answer on that response yet, but that was up to the universe to decide what they wanted to tell us. This is a, a, a card saying that, you know, those of us following this aren't going to have a sense of satisfaction at how it resolves. So that tells me that even though we don't have a direct justice or judgment card showing up yet, that there's going to be a closure to this that is actually one that brings us further into the light. And we know that the light had something to do with this, even though the timing may um, aid those that do shenanigans in distracting us. And again, don't be distracted by all the smoke and mirrors, okay? You can know the broad outlines of what someone's done without knowing the nitty gritty details, okay? And you can uh, form an opinion without knowing all that information or getting distracted by it, or worse, getting sucked into being dazzled by it and beguiled by it. The uh, next inside card we've got here is the Three of Wands. And this always kind of says, you know, the path ahead is going to be pretty clear. So there's going to be, we're going to be happy with how this resolves. And uh, looking forward, there's going to be a clearer path. So I do think this is kind of saying, now it, this is not a major arcana. But at this point, it's saying there may be others that follow along with the arrest, further arrests and prosecutions. Let's get four more cards. Now, remember, these will be looking to the near future about this topic and our question, but they're not as impactful as this one that says we're going to be pretty happy with how this resolves. And it looks like, again, they're going to clear up some of the uh, shenanigans that were involved with how Mr. Diddy did his business. Okay, we got the world. That's a good, happy card. The Fool, we've got two more, five out of nine cards are major arcanas. Okay, got a nod to some hidden information with the Four of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Okay, the world is always a victory card because the, uh, so there is going to be some impact and it's going to be not just American entertainers that are, in, are impacted by this arrest and other subsequent actions that follow. But there's going to be people that have located themselves elsewhere on the world that are going to be impacted on it. They're going to find that they're uh, in that whole new, <laughs> a whole new path in life. Okay, now <clears throat> the universe is telling me that there's something going on with this situation with the either the arrests or other um, indictments that they're preparing for others in this industry that is just too sensitive to share with us. So we're getting enough to answer our question. This is always a nod to that, but just saying, you know, there's some information that's just not ready to be public yet. Another card that can do that often is uh, um, the High Priestess, which hasn't shown up in this read. 
uh, just again, some items of information for you. And there's going to be, yeah, there's gonna be quite a few events that spring from this prosecution and this legal situation that uh, P. Diddy has got himself involved in, his arrest and uh, court issues. Let's recap. <clears throat> Earlier this week, P. Diddy was arrested. The timing wasn't coincidental. It's uh, in part a distraction. And initially, I didn't want to do a read about him because I just figured it would be a nothing burger like the Epstein issue has been all these years, uh, where the client list, there's been no prosecutions or uh, arrests that have been made public as a result of people that engaged in that, which was crimes against humanity. Well. P. Diddy has been arrested, and I was reading, and a light worker said, hey, the spells have been broken over the media industry, the entertainment industry, and uh, I thought maybe that if, that, if there's some truth to that, maybe there's been a, uh, there's going to be a shift, a different outcome with Mr. Diddy's situation. So we asked the, the cards, what's happening with, for insights and information about this situation, the arrest and convict, the, uh, prosecution going on for P. Diddy, and especially if there's a possibility that this will have ripples farther down the road and others will be caught up and face some consequencing for their actions. And uh, so here's what we got. First of all, <clears throat> there's going to be some discoveries uh, that come out. The situation was, involved, was indicated by this with the hermit, who is very wise and shines a light on needed items. Um, the recent past. Here you go, Hilarion. This is where we got a, kind of a nod to you. This The sun card showed up, okay, so working off the earthly plane, and um, it usually indicates that things are going in the right direction. So yeah, there has been a change in the entertainment industry. They don't have the esoteric powers that they used to have. And so you are absolutely right in reporting that. Good for you. Now, we need to know that there's still going to be, there was a distraction element to the timing of this, as I've already mentioned. There's going to be lots of information coming out designed to distract you. But at the core of this, this prosecution is genuine. These legal issues that Mr. Diddy is facing are genuine and they are going to extend to others. Um, I didn't get a direct, and it may be because the universe said, hey, there's some hidden information, I'm giving you enough to answer the question, but there's some hidden information. He may be singing like a songbird. So we'll see, we will see. The uh, near future, the devil card saying, uh, you know, this particular uh, individual is not gonna change your stripes, okay? He's still going to, he's had too much success, too much power by sucking people into temptations and, uh, or violating their free will. So he's not, you know, he's not in for a, uh, a change of character at all. However, no matter what happens with him, that's his path, it's his journey. I'm glad he'll face some consequences on this plane of existence for what he is, how he has chosen to live. I would not want to face those consequences that he has built up karma-wise. Okay. But we're going to be uh, pretty happy with the outcome. We see this was a near, the strongest near future card. So it is going to resolve in a way that most of us are going to see some of those ripple effects. They are going to start doing some more public consequencing for actions like this. And it's going to kind of clear the way for uh, a cleanup in the entertainment industry. The, uh, it's interesting. We got almost half of our cards were major arcanas. So this tells me the uh, entertainment industry is facing some huge changes. Again, um, Hilarion said that they've lost their, uh, their, their network, their power structure, you know, the uh, magic, the spells have been broken. And it sure looks like it's right with all those major arcana showing up. It, also in the near future, not as impactful though. We, uh, even though they are major arcanas, which is good, <laughs> just saying, you know, it's going to be a successful prosecution for this gentleman and probably others. Again, um, <clears throat> moving us towards a, a reinstatement of an in entertainment industry that truly entertains instead of programming us and stupefying us. And uh, so there's going to be some changes that come out that aren't necessarily directly involved with PDD, 
but kind of go hand in hand with the situation, the prosecution, the consequences, etc. The card that told me there's still some hidden information, and again, it may be that uh, I think my intuitive nudge on that hidden information is uh, Mr. Diddy may be singing like a songbird and bringing others down. And uh, there's going to be a lot of events that happen as a result of whatever's going on with those cards. So there we have it. It does look like we're going to have some different outcomes um, from the legal issues that Mr. Diddy is facing than we did from Epstein, where he was simply suicided. And uh, the client list has been protected ever more by the uh, three letter agencies that should not be. So, by the way, <laughs> I'm happy to be alive. I have no despondency or anything like that. <laughs> so just about a gold record of saying that. So uh, your prayers of protection are definitely, definitely useful and welcome. So I appreciate that because I'm gonna say it as much like it is as I can and retain my platform, okay? All right, so that's it for this video. I thank you so much for your time and your attention and viewership. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. If you did, double check and make sure that the uh, shenanigans gang didn't unsubscribe you because it wouldn't be me. It's them if it happens. And until next time, which I'll put something out this weekend, I promise. Uh, I wish you love, light, and everything bright. If you want to receive it, it is yours. I have a limitless source of that. I'm a conduit. Love, light, and everything bright. Bye.